I'm Patsy Hutchins, and my background is I've been a business owner uh, different times in my life, and uh, I've had this studio for, uh, Darren and I have had it together for almost 10 years. There's a dance studio and a dance studio. There's a dance studio that's physical, and there's a dance studio that is a business. Our main um, income comes from rental. It is basically a rental business. Our instructors pay for rent to teach here, and then we rent the facility for events. My name is Darren Fernandez, and um, I dance. I dance, and I dance more. Um, we have some great um, parties here at the studio, big events. Um, um, but um, we're looking to uh, get outside the box a little bit. Our issue that it's been since the pandemic is uh, uh, if you rent for an event, you're going to have a crowd. So you can't have a crowd. And uh, um, <clears throat> so we've had cancellations. We've uh, had uh, hardly no rentals since March. We are going to demonstrate the power of on-demand talent solutions from Freeman Leonard and our team of heroes who you see today are going to do their best to outline actionable solutions both strategically and creatively to help you guys solve your problems. So I'm Kathy Leonard, president of Freeman Leonard, and my background is uh, brand strategy in the marketing and advertising space. It sounds like maybe there's an opportunity now to um, do a, host, a hosted event outside. I just thought it might be interesting to do a push and give people ideas. Like if you want to do a Halloween class party here or your, you know, a neighborhood class party or something like that. I think we missed probably back to school, but there's other events, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that's coming up where people might want to gather and, you know, giving them the idea that you have a good space for that. But if, if we knew we could come there, have lunch or drinks for an hour and a half or two hours, uh, if it was during the lunch hour and you have lessons, the 10 of us would still sit over there, bring our lunch, have a place to meet, have a, and, and watch the lessons. What sticks out to me about Instagram more than anything is the location tagging aspect, right? So if you, if you see already, what is that? Like 360 already has like tons of people tagging the location as it is, right? And so if you are active enough to be tagging it on your own and providing information, because people are already doing it for you, you might as well piggyback off of that. This is um, very much like a Peloton situation, and I do those classes all the time. I have a Peloton, but I do, um, I don't ride the bike. I do the floor yoga strength, all these other classes. And so on their website, you pay a monthly service, or pay a monthly fee, and then you have access to all the classes on demand. You can take the classes live, when they're happening or you can take them on demand and um so then i just go in and i go okay i want to take this class today or i'll take this class you know whatever but it's it's just a bank of classes that live on their website and there's a lot of groups on school that are desperately trying to find places to meet for some of their groups to do a meeting that's not at somebody's house because they're too small and not at a park because it's just there's no um you know there's no equipment there's no microphone you can't use music you don't have a screen and so they've actually struggled to find places that they could rent and use. I think the opportunity with having a socially distanced outdoor hosted event is that you could have photographers come in and take amazing, beautiful shots. And then you've got uh, great content that you can use. Uh, I have not done a virtual dance class, but I'm sure that there are many that are going on and we could find examples of to, to show what that looks like. Um, and also you mentioned like, hey, there's probably a few of your instructors who have participated in that. Maybe not with the same level of enthusiasm uh, as an in-person class, but it's still an option that uh, some of your consumer, some of your customers are already looking into. And so you could attract a whole new audience that doesn't live, you know, geographically close to the studio itself. Or people that have moved away that used to um, participate, they could join again. Those people who have been renting from you, you haven't really followed up with them or you don't consider them a part of your client base. Someone to reach out to periodically and remind them that you're there or... You could, what you could do, even without selling it for, at first, is say, we're gonna offer an online course for anybody who wants, anybody in our network, sign up. That way you get their email, 
get their information and you teach a virtual lesson so that they say, hey, because what's one of the big barriers for people when they're dancing? It's they don't want other people to see them while they're learning, right? So you can safely learn to dance in your own living room with no judgment from an expert teacher and have a great time. Don't underestimate the power of the community wanting to give back and participate.